In the last 30 days, one of my Instagram accounts has grown over 50,000 followers and it will continue growing over 50,000 followers each month of 2024. If you are able to use the strategy which I'm about to reveal in this video, then you will be guaranteed growth. This video is in no particular order. Every single detail is important. I have tried and tested this across 20 plus different theme pages in different niches. These are the keys to growth. Let's go. Training your account or also known as niche mastery. Whether your account is zero followers, 5k, 50k or more, you need to be doing this right now. Let's look at my food page right here. If I go to my magnifying glass, which is the explore page, all the reels, you will see that it's only showing me food content, similar to what I post. Now, the reason I have built my account this way is because anytime I need ideas, whether that's for content, for hashtags, for captions, I can just get inspiration at a click of a button. I can get trending audios, which I know are working right now as they're on the explore page for my niche. And you can literally do this with any type of Instagram account. All you need to do is for a few days, like and save content in your niche. And after a while, the explore page will show you more and more of this content. What you need to avoid is using your Instagram account as a personal account. Only concentrate on your niche. As once you start liking random other bits, it will show you those random other bits. And honestly, we need to run our pages like a business if we want real growth. Trending audios, here is a full breakdown. Here, in my opinion, is the best way to find your trending audio. So let's say you're on your profile. What you want to do is actually press the reel button in the bottom right. Once you've pressed that, you will see a bunch of different reels. And in the bottom left is where the trending audios are, all the audios. Now to see whether it's trending or not, you will see an arrow like that, which points up or points up to the side. Once you press the audio, so I've pressed my audio, it will say trending or not. If it says trending, you can actually press that and see all the top trending audios. Simply scroll through. You can just press the button on the right to save it. And essentially, this is a massive catalog of what is trending that particular day. So if you want to use audio, simply press use audio, press the button, press your video, and the audio is currently being used. Now, the next thing is a bonus point for audios. If you're creating original content, this is what I want you to do. I don't want you to find your audio lost. The audio needs to be the first thing that you find because if you are able to edit to a trending audio, the video will become so much better and perform so much better when you post. All you need to do is download the reel with the trending audio, put it into your editing software, extract the audio, then you can edit to it. Then you can go back to Instagram and press use audio and you will have had a video that has already edited to that audio. Guys, that is the best way to use trending audios. Any questions, let me know in the comments section. Let's move over to the next one, which is going to blow your mind. One of the most important things about creating content on Instagram is to actually engage your audience. And Instagram have released a new feature called polls, but it's not polls on your stories. It's actually polls in your caption. If we look at this post right here, you will see that they've done a vote and they've had 43,000 responses to this vote. And it's a simple question, yes or no. But imagine the amount of engagement that they are getting from adding or implementing these polls. If you have this feature, you need to start using it. Instagram are rolling it out right now. And I really recommend doing this as quickly as possible as this will skyrocket your growth. This account is making the most of it right now. Let's say you're in the motivation. If you can't think of what poll to do, ask them simple questions. What's your goal for 2024? Make more money, spend more time with the family. It's really that simple and a massive, massive feature for 2024. So jump on polls. In my opinion, still one of the most underrated aspects of Instagram is the keywords and the captions. The reason you need to have a better strategy for your caption is because Instagram wants people to stay on your post as long as possible. So even if they stay and read your caption for two, three seconds, that's going to increase your overall watch time for that post. Not for the particular reel, but for the algorithm to understand that people are actually interested in this post. Here's a quick format that you can use for your captions. The first line needs to be a hook. So for example, a question. The next bulk of it, I want you to give advice, 
tell a story, give actionable steps, give a bit of substance that matches your post. Under that credit, whoever the content potentially is from, or if it's original, then credit yourself. And then under that, a CTA about follow. So follow me for more content like this. And then under that is simple, put your hashtag. It's literally that simple. Obviously you can have a CTA if you have a product or something, but I would recommend doing that later on when your growth is like an avalanche. Guys, don't sleep on your captions. If you need help with that bulk bit, you can simply go onto ChatGBT and get it from there. Use RomanRefiner.pt to refine it if you don't want to be uh, detectable. And that's the formula to make a caption which is going to get clicks. And remember, keywords are really important. So the longer your caption, the more information about your post, the more the algorithm is going to understand what the post is about, which again is going to help it put the content in front of the right audience. Effects. This is really underrated and I don't see enough people use this. I've seen people 3x their views simply by adding effects. Now let me show you how it works. So let's say I'm posting this reel on my food page. I've got it up, I'm gonna press next. Now you'll see the three stars at the top. I will press this button and this essentially is my effects. Now effects work similar to trending audios. Once there is a popular kind of effect, you will see loads of different content under that effect. So it's kind of a similar algorithm to training audio and you will potentially get additional exposure. And this also stacks with training audio, etc. So there's no harm in trying it sometimes, but let me just quickly give you some ideas what you can do. Now, obviously some of the effects, you know, can change your content quite drastically. What I recommend is picking some subtle ones. For example, one of the really good ones is just 4K. So if you type in 4K, you will see loads of 4K filters or effects. And let's say you press one of them, you'll see that it doesn't really change it that much. It could even potentially improve it. But let's say, for example, you know, you're editing a video and you wanna make it black and white and you're in CapCut or something and you make the change there. Wait and do it here instead as you will be using Instagram's platform and potentially will get a boost. So when it comes to filters, effects and just the aesthetics of your post, try this sometimes and I definitely think this can help newer accounts get additional reach and even older accounts definitely too. Now the next thing is a quick one and it is to turn off your Facebook recommendations. I've seen so many accounts going viral but the views are coming all from Facebook. This is not going to help your Instagram grow. I've done this on multiple accounts and it's best to actually turn off this. So turn off Facebook recommendations. You can get a ton of views on Facebook, but they won't come to your profile. So turn this off and just focus everything onto Instagram. Guys, the next ones are really important, so stay tuned. It wouldn't be an Instagram video without hashtags. What is the best way to use hashtags in 2024? Now, the first thing I want you to do is understand the purpose of hashtags right now. Hashtags over the years has changed a lot. In my opinion, the reason to use hashtags right now is to help the algorithm understand who to show your content to. So for example, this is basically like keywords on steroids. And what I recommend is doing three to seven hashtags. You don't want to overpopulate the hashtags and confuse the algorithm. And you will often see big accounts not posting any hashtags at all because they've already established with the algorithm who their audience is. So it's great for smaller accounts to use hashtags, but to teach the algorithm who to show your content to. Now, what I recommend is doing a few which are single words and a few which are two or three words. If you're putting multiple words in your hashtags, like hashtag I went on a boat trip, you know, that is not going to help you at all. Let's focus on what I've just mentioned and you will see that your hashtags have become a lot more useful to you. Pinned content. Now for this, there are two types which I'm going to discuss. There is the pinned reels or content at the top of your feed and there is the pinned comments. Now, the first thing is pinned comments. If you have a post which is performing exceptionally well, is going viral, this is what I want you to do. I want you with your account 
to write a comment like follow us for more and pin that comment some viral posts get thousands of comments and if people see a ctl by the account creator that incentivizes people to follow then you're utilizing your pin to the max and it's really that simple be smart with your pins you don't need to add them to all your posts but as soon as you start seeing momentum you can add some pins with cta saying follow us for more or click the link in my bio, which again, you should be doing later on. And the final thing is with pinned content, do not pin content as soon as it starts taking off. What I want you to do is wait 30 days. Once it starts dying down, then you can pin it to the top of your profile. And that's how you use pins. Your Instagram bio. Now, so many of you are losing followers because you are not using your bio properly. So use this section wisely. What we want to do with our bio is to capture someone's attention and incentivize them to follow our accounts. Speak to them. Why should they follow you? If you are still seeking growth, then do not use your bio to sell. This is the biggest mistake that I see people do. Here is how to build a good bio. Your name should be keywords that are potentially searchable. So people are going to search and you potentially will come up. If your account is called finance mindset, then you don't need to put finance mindset there again. Put something like finance, money, motivation, keywords which match the content that you will be posting. For line one in your bio, describe your account. Describe what your brand is about. Line two, value. What value are you going to provide to your potential follower? Why should they follow you? Line three, community focused. Don't put follow me, follow us. Be smarter. What I've been doing is join the family or join the community, join the brotherhood, whatever it might be. Make it more appealable and focus on the community aspect. If you do your bio like this, you will increase the conversions of followers. And guys, I don't want to see long lines. It needs to be simple, clean and sharp. People come onto your profile and, and will make a decision in a matter of seconds. You don't want to make it too long. Stick to it. It takes time to create a good bio. Don't rush it. And if you ever want us to review your bio, have any questions or anything, make sure you join my Discord or communities so that we can help you build the perfect bio. But trust me, you can do it yourself using this strategy. Okay guys, so the last one is keywords on your videos or on your content. So I'm posting my reel right now and this is another way to help the algorithm understand who to show your content to. So let's say I press next. What you want to do is press the text button and type in who your content is for. So for example, if my content is about pizza and I want to show it to people who like pizza, I will type pizza and you can see my text right there. What I want to do is make that text as small as possible. So you just literally make it tiny. And essentially you are putting keywords on your video to help the algorithm. And it's literally that simple. You can put like one or two. If you add everything that we've done in this video, you will be on track for growth. Guys, my name is Alex. And if you like this video, please make sure you like and subscribe. And let me know in the comments section if you have an idea for a future video of mine. Guys, I have a whole playlist on my channel, creating content, making money online, Instagram theme pages, and faceless YouTube. Be sure to check out these playlists. Let's run.